dear fellow Malaysians, we will soon be at the polling booths to decide on our parliamentary and some state assembly representatives. In St. Paul's letter to the Romans, we are informed that government is an authority instituted by God. Romans chapter 13. For those who govern are God's servants for our good and who punish wrongdoers. Romans chapter 13 verse 4. Therefore, it is our responsibility to choose wisely our political leaders as this is our sacred duty in nation building. In this video are some church leaders of the Christian Federation of Malaysia as well as some heads of churches making their wishes and prayers for Malaysia in GE15. My dear friends, once again, our nation is packed into political uncertainty. Our parliament is dissolved. We are back to the pudding boots to elect a new government. In a multiracial and multi-religious society like ours, we need to choose candidates or parties whose manifesto aims to build our nations by bringing together the support of the diverse communities, sectors and skills and is capable of overseeing this process. This coming general election is an exit test for us. It is also a wake-up call for us to fulfill our right and responsibility as citizens of this nation. So my friends, brand or shine, we must come out to vote for a better nation, a better future, and for the sake of our children and their children's children. Thank you, and may God bless Malaysia. As we approach another election, I pray for the future of our children and grandchildren. Their future is the future of our country. My wish is that they will have access to good education at all levels and no more admission quotas at university level. Secondly, our annual budgets must benefit all. Long after we are gone, they will be responsible for the debt of the nation. We must not squander their future away. A Malaysia for all Malaysians. This is my dream for our beloved nation. My wish is for the right and righteous candidates for parliament and state assemblies. We must not elect those who are tainted by corruption and abuse of power. Corruption will destroy our beloved Malaysia. So my dear fellow Malaysian Christians, we have heard some wishes and prayers for Malaysia in G15. What is your own wish and prayer for our beloved Malaysia? My wish is to see that our future generation will have our nation as a safe space to live in dignity as equal citizens, devoid of any discrimination. A nation that will live in harmony and unity, which is the platform for development and progress to be a successful and mature society. I am sure you are now craving attention to the candidates in your constituency, in what they will say and what they do. At the same time, pray and seek God's guidance as to who to vote for to represent your interests and concerns. Then go out to vote and may God bless Malaysia.